The reason it was necessary to establish a military presence in this area was for the protection of the settlers who would come surely in droves to reap the rich bounty of the great Southwest. But not everyone would welcome them with open arms. Keeping the peace was never easy in the Territorial West. Apache raids were frequent and supplies were hard to come by. After the Civil War ended, attention turned to Indian problems and in 1871, the Army named General George Crook to lead the Apache campaign in Arizona. When the Apache Wars ended in 1886, most of Arizona's military posts were phasing out. One account stated that in 1897, Congress deactivated Fort Whipple. But before the man who shut the gate had left the area, Congress declared war on Spain. It was used as a gathering place for Teddy Roosevelt's Rough Riders. Eventually, it became a military hospital and has over the years evolved into one of the finest veterans hospitals in the country. Many famous people spent time in Prescott and at Fort Whipple. One of them became mayor of the largest city in the country. His father was bandmaster at Fort Whipple. The boy with the F by his face, Fiorello LaGuardia. <laughs> <laughs> 